All right, for a passage question, especially one that asks the main purpose, just dive in. Go see what it is and try to maybe come up with a dumb summary of what you're reading. So the following text is from the 1924 Poem Cycle by Darcy McNichol, who was a citizen of the Confederate Salish and Kutani tribes. Okay. There shall be new roads wending, a new beating of the drum. Well, okay, if they're repeating new, that's probably a sign. Uh, men's eyes shall have fresh seeing, gray lives reprise their span. But under the new sun's being, completing what night began, there'll be the same, oh, there's a change, same backs bending, the same sad feet shall drum when this night finds its ending and day shall have come. So this is kind of interesting. There's a lot of new up here, very positive, you know, we're fresh, uh, new roads, new beating of the drum. But here, maybe it's bad, right? I mean, uh, They'll be the same as backs bending. I know if my back bends in the wrong way, it kind of hurts. So sad feet, I don't know, it seems kind of negative. So let's leave it at that. Let's see what we get from the choices. Uh, what's the best? What's the main purpose? To consider how the repetitiveness inherent in human life can be both rewarding and challenging. Well, that has that kind of positive and negative duality there. Repetitiveness, well, they said same, the day is coming. I don't know, maybe that works. I'm not a, a poet here. I don't know if that's exactly what this person meant, but I can make some connections and for now it's enough for me to keep the choice in. Let's keep going. Uh, to question whether activities completed at one time of day are more memorable than those that are completed at another time of day. Well, this is doing something noticeable. Um, if you've taken a lot of SATs, you might notice that a lot of wrong answer choices involve comparisons. Are they really comparing two different things? Are they saying one thing is more memorable than something else? I don't think so. It's not to say that all comparisons are wrong, but when we see a comparison or an answer choice, we have to make sure that that same comparison is happening in the passage. And this is not talking about things being memorable at all, and certainly not saying that two things are, are, are similar or different. I don't really know what this choice means. I also don't think they're questioning anything, so that just seems wrong. C, to refute the idea that joy is a more commonly experienced emotion than sadness is. Well, there you go. More commonly experienced is also a comparison. So we can see both of these choices have some problems, the same problem. They're not saying anything is common or not. They're, they're talking about good and bad, but they're not ranking them. They're not saying that one thing happens more often than another. And refute is a very strong idea. It means to prove something wrong. And so that's also kind of something that stands out to me as not provable with the lines. D, to demonstrate how the experiences of individuals relate to the experiences of the communities. Well, this is doing something a little bit better. It is maybe making a comparison, but it's doing it without ranking things, right? It's just showing how uh, the, the experience of individuals relate to, that's a much weaker word, the experiences of their communities. So that part may maybe is a little safer. But are they actually doing this? The experiences of individuals versus communities? Well, it talks about some people, um, I guess, having fresh seeing, other people's backs bending, but I don't know that they're saying anything about individuals or communities. These just seem like people in general, so I don't think that there's any sort of split as to the different types of people or, or the, the numbers of people that we're talking about. So look, I don't necessarily, like I said at the beginning, understand poetry, but I understand the difference between positive and negative ideas and rewarding and challenging. Positive and negative does seem to fit with the positive and negative words that come up in this poem. That's enough for me to match these and call it a day. I would not dwell on this question. I would be very confident that's right, even if on my own, I would never have been able to pull that meaning out of the lines. I don't have to. The answer choices are going to be enough that I just need to match something. I don't need to summarize the poem myself. So yes, choice A is the answer.